Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. I want to put this out there from the jump. This game has a dynamic frame rate. So what you're experiencing is not lag. You're experiencing frame drops. What frame drops are is, if you ever play the game like PUBG, you ever play the game like Fortnite, you ever play the game like... Um, anything really on PC. Uh, if you if you set the game, you play the game, and you have your render distance at too great a distance, you'll start to drop frames. You, you pull your rendering distance in like H1Z1, and then you won't drop frames. You won't be able to see people off in the distance, but you won't drop frames. This game appears to have no rendering distance set. It, it, it appears to account for everybody on the complete server, no matter what they're doing, and they're not, the server is not keeping track of it there isn't because it's not a dedicated server this entire server not server the entire world exists inside of your pc i mean not inside of your pc inside of your playstation inside of your xbox you you're processing all of that so when you're processing all of that insignificant units and significant units and you're playing the game at the same time that's taxing your cpu and that makes the frame rate drop and that's what you're seeing when it seems like it's like a strobe light or like you're playing a game at an old hotel when the lights are blinking. I'm gonna just drop in real quick and you're gonna see people loading in. What I'm saying about um, insignificant units, all these guys are insignificant. Um, some people are thinking, well, you know, Take-Two makes, makes GTA, Take-Two makes all of this stuff, right? Okay, Take-Two does make GTA, but GTA has rendering distance set and the reason that we know that GTA has rendering distance set let's take my man's red shoes for example or, or yellow shoes they never lose detail there's never a point where I can walk away and I lose the fact that those shoes are red even all the way down here as long as I can see them those shoes will be red on GTA those shoes would have just become a part of the main color of whatever he had AI has three bright spots on his face and he has the ball in his hand we never get to a point when we're running back toward, especially when you're approaching something quickly. The only thing that we're losing is people's names. We're getting the names back, but we never lost the color of his shoes. We never lost the color of those yellow shoes. We never lost the fact that AI had three shiny spots, which are the ball, his, his, his left shoulder, and then his head. And we never got to the point where we couldn't read team practice facility. If, those, if any of those things happened, then we would know that and we never lost how many people are down there. Like I can, as long as I can see it, I can read it. Team practice facility, all the way down here. As long as I can see it, I can read it. On other games, that would have been gone. That detail, we would have lost that detail at, 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 how, at, at X number of units. So what I'm thinking is, uh, this, is, this, is this is just my hypothesis. The game is keeping track of everything. It's keeping track of everything. Every character model is completely rendered in and there's no rendering distance. So when you're getting close to people, when you approach things quickly, you still see them in full detail. I mean, that's cool for some games, but that's not cool for, for you know, a game like this where I don't need to know what's going on. If somebody's in here, look, I can see what he's doing. I can literally see that he's getting ready to steal somebody's swags because he's, uh, he's trying those headphones on. So I can see them standing there. I can see what they're doing. I can see exactly what's going on. Normally, I wouldn't be able to see them doing that. I shouldn't be able to see them doing that. You can't see that in the barbershop because the barbershop is actually in a different world. It's in like a cut scene of his own. It's on a completely different server. And the reason you can tell that is because he just came up out of the ground like the Undertaker, number one. But number two, you have to press a button to get in there, to activate it. But like I'm saying, Normally with games like, you know, like WoW and all of that, when somebody goes into the store there, you can't see him anymore. But here, no matter how far I get away from this store, I can see what he's doing. And I can see when he comes out with a different, uh, when he's, he's probably gonna come out with a different outfit on or something like that because, I mean, who, who rocks headphones in the zone other than people that are stealing stuff from Swags, which your CPU is also keeping track of. It's keeping track of everything. Everything, period. Like, uh, okay, now, my game just froze. Okay, now it just unfroze. Some people probably just, just got here. Now, the reason that we know that the issue is them keeping track of all these units is really simple. It's, it's because when you play in the stage, you don't lag because you're isolated. You're off this server, you're off this world. So you don't lag, uh, you don't drop frames. When you're, oh my God, this right here. 
it must have just teleported me into a server. You, I, I, that's another thing I think happens a lot too, is that you get moved around to different servers seamlessly, but you know, that's that's a whole another different story. Um, when you play Pro-Am, you don't, oh, this entire, this entire server is lagging right here, cause I can't even move my thing. I can't even move the stick. But uh, when you play Pro-Am, you, uh, you don't lag, or uh, you don't drop frames because it's in a secluded place. Or what have you? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to close my app and restart it. I'm not even playing the game. I can only imagine what the people that are going through the game are going through. So the reason that everything works on the PlayStation 4 is because it has enough power to run this game at 4K or whatever the max resolution is with plenty of headroom. The the PlayStation 4, uh, the ordinary, the vanilla, the slim, the whatever you have, it doesn't have that type of power. It can't run anything other than 1080p, and it probably barely has headroom with most games. So like if you're playing something like Halo, you throw a grenade, boom, the grenade blows up, all the particles are in the air. Until those particles disappear, you see the, you see the frame rate drop. This is nothing new, this has always been, even when you played old games on the Apple IIe, you know, too many things on the screen, too much going on. Even like Old Town, the reason people couldn't play last year, you're dropping frames because there's just too much going on and your CPU is keeping account of, uh, it's, it's accounting for all of this. Your it's not the server because any nothing is on the server. Like I said, on GTA, as you walk away from people, they lose detail. If you walk away far enough and look at the person through the sniper rifle, you can see it's dot, but you can't see that they're there. But if you shoot, you'll get a kill because the person is there, but they're not rendered in. That's how Take Two does it um, with GTA. Things at great distance are insignificant, so they don't render in until you get up on them. That's why, like, if you're driving at somebody on GTA and um, you know, you, you, you might be driving at them, they're driving at you. You'll see like the, you'll see a car there and then they'll get close to you then you'll start seeing headlights and you'll see more detail and more detail and more detail. With this, again, we never lose detail. So with the CPU keeping track of all of that, keeping track of people losing, I mean, stealing their swags, keeping people, keeping track of people coming and, and going. Um, G, uh, CP, uh, GTA is also, as far as I can tell, on dedicated servers, and so some of that is off, some of that work is offloaded to the server. This, as far as I can tell, the world is on a server, but all of the world exists on your console. So this is not a world loaded in a server and I'm rendering portions of it at one time. This is a world that may exist, may or may not exist on the server, but I'm rendering the entire world at all times. Not just what I'm seeing, not like PUBG when something is way off in the distance and you can't see it. Like right here, if they're playing basketball, if somebody's over there playing ball, I would be able to see them from the street. Obviously nobody's playing right now. Yeah, see, they are playing. They're playing ball. I can see them from the street. If that thing was secluded and all of this wasn't here, then uh, then I wouldn't be able to see them from the street if there was a rendering distance. If somebody's in here, I wouldn't be able to see them, like we said. So that's just that's just my two cents on it. I think they have the rendering distance just way too high. I'm accounting for all the units, people stealing stuff out of swags. I'm accounting for that. I'm accounting for somebody doing something on Gatorade. I'm accounting for all of that. The only thing we care about is the 10 people that are on the court or the six people that are on the court at one time. So I can see everybody that's here, people are popping in, but it's not because they're rendering in, it's because they just lost and it's pushing them off of that server on here. So like I said, man, this is why you're dropping frames. You drop frames because, because things at great distance still render and they shouldn't. I can see this sign and if, you, if somebody's actually playing the game, uh, that, that shooting game over there, you can see that sign change and change and change and change. If somebody walks by on the street, you can see them from here walking by on the street when I shouldn't be able to see any of that. So that's really what's going on. Your CPU is keeping track of all this stuff and the Xbox One and the ordinary PlayStation Pro. I can only imagine what type of time you guys are having on the PlayStation, I mean on the Xbox One because there's just so much going on and I bet it, uh, if anybody has both, let me know if, if you get more frame drops on the Xbox One or the PS4 Pro. And I probably have explained this so badly that you guys don't really know what I'm talking about. But um, like I said, it's, it's, it appears to be rendered distance. Every character in the game renders in in complete detail 2k can fix it they can just patch it and make it so you don't render in everybody they can seclude they can make it so that you can't see anything beyond this point just put a put a a, a fog around this court and anything 
that's around here, you're not rendering those characters in so they can change the render distance. They can just seclude it like they like pro am in the stage, y'all. And and that's why they don't drop frames. Or they can just limit the number of people that are on the server because like I said, I don't know if I said it before already because I shot this video three times already. But um on 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 oh okay, yeah, when you get on early in the morning and you're playing and only like 20 or 30 people in the park in the whole system. You don't you don't you don't drop frames. It's smooth. And and it can and your your PS4 can handle it. But as as more peop more and more people join the server, it becomes more and more laggy. And they said like about 80 people can uh can join. So I would guess that you know they should probably cut that number in half, make it be about 30 people, 40 people, or something like that. But then that will cut into their profits or what have you. And you know, they're just, they're just not gonna do that. So the most likely thing that they could do would probably be to change the render distance. You shouldn't be able to see detail in people at great distance. I mean, there's just no reason for it. But hey, who knows? Everybody's gonna do it. Like I said, I, if somebody were running around in Gatorade, look, I can see this dude in Gatorade right now on the treadmill. Why? And if this wall were not here, if somebody had wall hacks, I would still be able to see it. He's in Gatorade, he's doing something else on a completely different something else. And I can still see them moving around inside of Gatorade. So your system is keeping track of that and it's processing all of this information while you're trying to play the game, which makes no sense. When the venue, uh, like I said, when, when they start putting you on different servers and we have the house rules and stuff like that, I guarantee, those will be the least laggy courts, period. But, like I said, this is just my two cents, man. This is just a technical aspect of it. This is why everybody's dropping frames. You're not lagging. Lagging is when you get 14, 14, 14, and you get pushed off the server because this year when you get 14, you're gonna get kicked out. You're just dropping frames because your PlayStation 4 cannot handle it, but your PlayStation 4 Pro can handle it because it's supposed to be able to do the game at great, you know, at greater detail with headroom. So. Like I said, 2K can fix it. Don't let, her, don't let them tell us that they can't fix it. And we should demand that they do fix it. They should patch this in, just either either seclude completely the uh, the playground, the, the, the actual playing portion of the playground, seclude that completely. They should um, change the render distance so we're not rendering anything that, that's not even important. And I'm pretty sure that's in the program. They could probably patch that in and do that. Or you can get a PS4 Pro. I mean, you can do that, but I mean, I don't think anybody really wants to do that. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, man, and then you get stuff like that that doesn't render in at all. And it just is what it is. So, like I said, man, I hope this made a little sense to you guys. And uh, I hope that you understand where I'm going with all of this. The whole goal is for me to tell you that 2K can do this and they can fix this and they can get everything working right. But the reason, the reason that it's happening it's for a reason that it shouldn't be happening in the first place. Anything outside the park is insignificant. We shouldn't be rendering it in, but we're rendering people. If people were running about across on the street, like I said, we would be able to see that. But we shouldn't We shouldn't be able to see that because we don't care about that. Really, the only thing, I don't even care about anybody on the court. They should just render in these got next so I can see who's on the got next, and uh, that'll be that. But like I said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I've already talked too much, and uh, it's a lot of technical talk that nobody cares about. And uh, really, Either 2K is going to fix it, have to fix it, or you're going to have to get yourself a PS4 Pro. Because on the PS4 Pro, you may drop, let's say if, if the game is 60 frames a second, you may go down to like 55 frames a second, but you don't you don't go to the unplayable 15 to 20 frames a second. And like I said, if you guys got it on Xbox, let me, or have it on Xbox and PS4, let me know if it, it's even worse on Xbox One, or does it seem to be better on Xbox One if you have it on both. But anyway, I've already talked too long, man. I'm going to let y'all get up out of here because I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 2K, you can fix the problem. We know you can fix the problem. I've explained it as well as I can to the layman's. And uh, let's just get it fixed, man, so this game can be playable for people on all systems, systems because not everybody has the ability to go buy a PlayStation 4 Pro because they don't do YouTube. They shouldn't have to. All they want to do is just play the game and enjoy the game that they paid $60 for. That's it. But anyway, as my dog Hard Eight Times would say, we always wondered would there be a game that is created that runs way better on the PS4 Pro than it runs on the X or than it runs on the regular PS4? 
and this is proof that that's what's going on, and it's because it's rendering too many things. Probably the anti aliasing is probably too high too, um, because like I said, the character models stay, the character models they don't start blending in at distance, and we can see this guy running up and down. But um, this is that game. I just didn't think the 2K would be the game that that it, that did that. But anyway, man, I've already talked too long, man. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, how you feel about it. It is complete BS, and uh, they should have told us this before they did it. And I'm out of here. Peace.